tell you what we're going to do. We're going to work with a picture that came from the um, uh, our instructions manual. We've done it, used it inside of our uh, tutorials too. Uh, it's a picture of uh, John and Bob. And um, this is two guys that have been taken from a photograph and turned into a um, stencil. And um, the best way to explain layers is to run you back up here to the top over here in this section. You'll see where you can, this is the layer section of Coyote Stencil Shop. You can make a new layer or you can delete a layer. When you first turn it on and you just start off by converting a photograph to a stencil, you will see that you generate a background layer and layer one. And if you if you got the background layer, you can and the layer one both you can rename. I typically the background layer is anything that's in the white with the gray um, graph lines on it. That's actually your your uh, canvas itself. Layer one is uh, in this case these two guys. We'll call them the boys. And you can rename this, and this will help you while you're going through and making layers. Once you click, once you change the name down here, and you click back up there, it now changes it. Now here's another interesting point, is that if I'm on the background layer and I come down here and say I want to hide it, nothing happens. I can now make it visible nothing, and nothing happens. If I come to the boys and I click on hide the layer, you'll notice over here that they're gone. I want to make it visible again, they're back. It's all fine and dandy when you've got two layers, the background layer and the boys. Um, if you click on the background layer, you can go over and select move and click and hold and nothing happens. But if you come up to the boys and you're on move, and you click and hold, you can see that you can move them all over. That means that you're working directly with the active layer. That's the one that's got the highlighting around it. Notice if I click down here, background layer is highlighted, can't move anything. Click on this layer, it's highlighted, now I can move. Now another, way to, another thing to do with this is to um, start selecting out different portions of um, the um, stencil. And the way to do that in this case, for me, the easiest way to do this is to get down around oh, three, a size three pin, or I'm sorry, a size three eraser. And you can now start coming in and just doing things like this, coming down and grabbing right to here, stepping down over here and coming over, grabbing this, coming over to here, I'm going to come up to here. I'm going to step up here and leave this down like this, and you'll see why in a minute. Come down and grab this and highlight it out and move it up to here. And you still don't, you really don't see much difference there. I mean, the stencil still looks like a stencil, but the nice thing about this now is that you can um, go over and start selecting things. I'm going to go freehand on this one. You've got several different ways to choose, but I'm going to go freehand on this one. And right, I'm going to step down in here, and I'm going to start. I'm going to run down inside this groove. Step down inside here. Come over here. Hop up. This isn't going to be picture perfect, but it's going to be a pretty good indication of what we're talking about when we talk about setting out different pictures in layers. Now we can come up here and join this thing again, and I can come up here and go edit, cut. See what happens? John just left, with the exception maybe his hat there. Now you come up here to layers again and you say make a new layer. We're going to name this John and click back up here. Now you're in John. It's highlighted. All right. And we're going to go back and we're going to we're going to paste. We're going to come back over here and we're going to go to edit, paste, paste as a selection. And we can now, and you hold on to it. When it comes in and gets pasted back in here, it holds on to everything until you come back in and set it back down and then click. And now it's pasted. Last thing you do at that point is to go into selection and say deselect and the, and the highlighting goes away. Not much difference between what you had, but you can now go up to John and say hide, hide that layer and just John's gone. I'm going to step in just for the sake of, a <laughs> of this whole thing. I'm going to go over to boys, I'm going to go to eraser, and I'm going to get rid of this part of John's hat because it just kind of detracts from the whole show. Go back here and go back to John and you say make it visible, and there's John again. Okay? Now we're going to do the same thing with Bob, but right here we're going to go hide John, go back to the boys, go over and 
get your eraser step in here and erase this section right here and erase this section right here and erase a little bit of Bob's tie so you can get in there and now we're going to go to select we're going to go to freehand we're going to go up and around step down in here come back over grab I missed part of Bob's tie I got part of the tailgate but that's just age and shakiness I guess anyway come down here we're going to grab this come back up and grab it and we're going to go over here we're going to go edit cut now Bob's gone and we're going to go up here and we're going to make a new layer we're going to name it Bob pick up back up here we're going to go here and we're going to go edit paste as a selection. I could already I could paste as a new layer, but I've already made a new layer. Okay, if I paste another layer, it would come back in and put another layer right over here. We don't necessarily need to do that. We're just going to go paste as a selection. We're going to set Bob back in here, best I can, and click, and he's set. Go up to selection, go deselect, and he's there. Now we come back to John, and we say make him visible. And there it is again. That's pretty much it. So now you can go to John and get rid of him. And you can go to Bob and get rid of him. And you can go to the boys, which would actually be the truck now, except for John's hand. And you can say get rid of him. And all you've got left is the background. You come back to the boys and you say make it visible. You go to Bob. I'm sorry, you go to Bob. Say make him visible. Go to John make him visible and there you have it now here's an interesting point and this is a tough thing to understand about layers I have John selected right here I'm gonna go to the pen and I'm gonna go actually I'm gonna go to eraser and I'm gonna make it a 20 so we can really see so I'm cutting some some path in here I'm gonna scoot right across John and you can see that I chopped John out of there I'm gonna undo that and I'm going to stay with John and I'm going to come across Bob but take a look nothing happens until you get to John and nothing happens when you're down in the boys I'm going to undo again and that is because you are only on the active layer which is John I go to Bob and I try to erase John I can't get it I go try to erase the boys or the truck and I can't get it I go to Bob and I can erase anything I want I undo and I say now we're going to go to the boys I try to erase John and Bob and I can't do it but I get down into the boys which is the truck section and I can do anything I want again we will undo that's a real important part of layering is that you got to realize which active layer you're on a lot of times our customers will write to us and say I'm clicking on I mean I'm clicking on the palette or the canvas and I'm trying to erase and nothing's happening and the reason being is they're in the background color I'm gonna try to erase anything the boys, John, Bob, can't do it, can't do anything. It's because I'm over here on the background layer. I tell them, step out of that one and go to something else, and now you can erase anything you want. And again, you can also add things, too. Um, if you want to add something to John, you can by going to the pen and adding something, right? and you can add something over here but here's the amazing part and here's the tough part of this whole thing I'm gonna go to Bob and it looks like we wrote all over Bob but I'm gonna hide him and look what I did was I'm gonna go to the boys and I'm gonna hide that too and you'll see that all I did was add stuff because I was highlighted on John I'm gonna undo again get that back out and go back and bring those guys back you have to remember which layer you're on and it's all dependent upon what's highlighted over here in the tan now if you were to take John and Bob and the truck and make them three-dimensional and I can't do it with Coyote it doesn't have that capability nor does it need it I'm going to show you what it would look like on something that I built in another program um, you'll see these three layers to probably make more sense there's John there's Bob there's the truck and if you were to combine all three of these layers together you'd have the stencil